The report is final, and by next week, sources tell News 4 that the governor's office will update us on Helen Garlick's findings against former ministers of government Floyd Hall, Jeffrey Hall, McAllister Hanchel, Lillian Boyce, and former Premier Michael Mizick. There continues to be more information surrounding Garlick's investigation of past ministers who were accused of wrongdoings during the intricate investigations of the Commission of Inquiry. And according to reliable sources within the governor's office, Garlic will deliver her findings on the guarded investigations and which areas of the many recommendations of Sir Robin Ault require prosecution to the governor sometime this week, and those findings will be made public next week. The governor's office is once again tight-lipped about what information might be etched in those reports and if Garlic has found substantial supporting evidence to prosecute all those implicated. Sources from the governor's office did confirm, however, that the specialist team who have been tasked with assisting Garlic in her case have already been sworn into the Royal Turks and Caicos Police Force. Deputy Commissioner of Police Hubert Hughes was reluctant to release any information surrounding the officers and their investigations, but told News 4 that at least two officers from the UK were sworn in as members of the TCI Police Force. Garlic, who said she would be working via the Attorney General Chamber's office, indicated to media outlets at an August press conference that she would deliver her initial findings to the governor's office two months into her investigations. October marked that two-month deadline. The final report of the Commission of Inquiry revealed that appointed commissioner for the commission, Sir Robin Ald, found possible corruption on the part of former Premier Michael Mizick, former Deputy Premier Honorable Floyd Hall, and former Ministers McAllister Hanchel, Jeffrey Hall, and Lillian Boyce. There were 39 findings and 26 recommendations. The report also revealed that there were almost 500 submissions, 26 of which were under pseudonyms or false names, 81 were confidential. 299 came from members of the public and 39 from TCI government officials, and another 27 from former ministers and members of the former House of Assembly. Garlick said in a previous interview that the allegations against a former minister are wide-ranging and the work ahead will be difficult and complex. A look on the prosecution's website shows that there have been no new updates since its formation, but News 4 will continue to monitor this story.